Hey everyone, Brett Kelly here for another Tuesday Tech Tip at 45 Drives. This week is uh, uh, a really fun one, really near and dear to my heart and my team's heart and well, all of us here. Um, I'm introducing the next version, the next release of our Stornator storage product, the Stornator X. For the attentive fans, you may have seen this a few months ago. We uh, shipped Linus Sebastian a new server and it looked a little different than the current products we sell. He actually received the first prototype of, uh, of our new design and uh, who better to send a first pro prototype to than Linus Sebastian. Oh, that's different. They have stepped up their game. Anyway, he's been loving it for more of this time and now we're finally ready to give it out to every one of you. So what I want to talk about today is what is the new Stornator X? Well, first of all, it's the same product you know and love. It's still the open, uh, open platform, high density, um, great value storage product. What we've, imp um, we've improved on a bunch of things. We've kept the main unique feature that always made our, our servers our servers is the direct wire architecture. Uh, for those who don't know what I'm talking about there, why don't you go check out uh, another Tech Tuesday video we did where I explain what exactly that is. So rest assured, it's the same storage product you guys have fallen in love with. It's all the same fundamental architecture is still there. What we chose to really focus on in this release was listening to some user feedback and stuff we noticed ourselves on stats in the field is we really want to in increase user feel, serviceability, and thermal performance in the motherboard chamber. So, uh, well, I won't give you any more details here. Why don't you go through it? We'll take, some, we'll take you through the lab and I'll show you a uh, uh, kind of a high level look at all these awesome new features. So really excited to introduce this to you guys, the Stornator X. Stay tuned. We've got this tech tip video. We've got blogs. We've got all kinds of uh, uh, stuff coming your way. So um, let's get into it. Here's a summary of the features of the new design. First of all, one of the biggest changes, the direct wired backplane. So the direct wire backplane is the same architecture model as our fan out cables, but we have now have a printed circuit board that connects all the drives to the HBA cards. Uh, the printed circuit board allows us universal hot swap support of every drive. Don't even have to worry about it anymore. We have full support of staggered spin-up of every hard drive, which will greatly reduce the power surge of some of your units. We've greatly reduced the amount of cabling by going to these direct wire backplanes. We don't use the fan out cables anymore. Therefore, we have a very clean and sleek looking uh, chassis, which means improved serviceability. You've got less cables to manage. And that ties into the other big change we did. We changed the way our drives uh, mount into the system. It's still toolless but it's way easier to get them in now. We have modular drive cages, so each row is its own individual cage. This ties back to our improved serviceability. If you need to fix something on one of the servers or you need to do anything underneath, you don't have to take the whole thing apart anymore. You can just operate on the row that needs to be worked on. This, in couple with the greatly reduced amount of cabling, makes these things a breeze not only to build the first time, but if you ever have to fix or change out a cable or upgrade the thing in the future. Um, the modular drive cages really improve the user feel of drive installation. It really is a one finger insertion. You get the drive started and you just push it right down and it'll give you a little click and you know what's in there. And on top of that, we've greatly improved the vibration performance. The old Storinator already had awesome vibration performance at the hard drive and the chassis level, but we have found that the individual cages and the way we mount them has halved that um, vibration power that we were seeing from the old machine. So already good, even better now. And kind of the last thing we did was improved uh, the motherboard performance on how we move the air through the motherboard. Therefore, we've been able to reduce the overall ambient temperature in the motherboard chamber at the CPU and on the HBA card as well. So for an improved longevity of your server. And Last but not least, we have always been selling Intel platform, but we are also adding an AMD Epic offering in for all those um, 
uh, AMD enthusiasts. They've got a great product. They're really, uh, they're really um, giving Intel a run on their server levels, uh, server grade CPUs on uh, the Epic line. So we're excited to add it to our offering. All right, so there is a rough intro of our next rev of the Stornator, the Stornator X. So again, we really wanted to touch on serviceability, user feel, and maintain all the great things that our server already offered to you guys. And um, yeah, so stay tuned for much more content from this. Uh, it's coming very, very soon. You'll be able to quote it and purchase it through our website. And uh, stay tuned. Can't wait to talk more about it. So again, comments, questions, anything at all, hit us up uh, here, any social media. We'd love to hear from you. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, can't wait to get this out to you guys. See you next week.